Hi Virgo and welcome to your love tarot forecast. This is for August 16th through August 31st, 2019. And I'm going to start off by pulling you guys a few bonus cards and I'm going to leave them face down. So throughout the reading, you just eyeball these and see which one you feel holds extra insight or messages for you. Those are your bonus cards, Virgo. All right, let's get right into your reading and pull some overall energies for singles, couples, dating, crushes, separated, um, new people coming in. Let's see what's coming out for you guys. All right, so we have outside influences, mutual attraction, and love connection Ooh. okay so listen singles first and foremost you guys if somebody is trying to set you up this week okay uh, or these next two weeks like a friend a family member a co-worker somebody you take a class with do it okay because with outside influences mutual attraction and love connection it's like any of you who are being aligned to a romantic potential by somebody else it's like it's a hit okay you guys are gonna like each other and um, it's like instant connection between the two of you it, it's worth your time um, also some of you who belong to dating websites um, I also, I also feel like this could be speaking to you guys. You know, you could really meet somebody with long-term potential over these next two weeks. Um, those of you who are dating with no commitment, um, I feel like it's outside influences are actually bringing you guys closer together. Like you're receiving advice, good feedback about that person, or they're receiving advice, good feedback about you, and you guys like are going to go to the next level, whatever that means for you, okay? Those of you who are committed to each other, um, Virgo, it looks good. And I have to say, you guys are my sixth reading, and pretty much from Aries to you guys, it looks like this beautiful energy for love and romance and connection and falling in love, reigniting connections, okay? Um, as far as those of you who are separated, I don't have a whole lot of um, information. It could be, you know, if there were outside influences that separated you over these next two weeks, if you guys decide none of that matters and your love and connection is more important and you reconcile, you know. So let's take a look. Let's pull some tarot cards. It's just like, man, the time of love over these next two weeks. All right, so we have divine masculine of thoughts, articulate, intelligent, sophisticated, or I'm sorry, intellectual. I always want to say intelligent there. Could be a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? But this is, you know, somebody who is very quick-witted, sharp in their mind. Could be funny, but more of a dry humor. This isn't somebody who really wears their emotions on their sleeve. Very reserved, held back. Only a select few get to see their true heart, okay? Next out is Three of Flames, Growth, Patience, Waiting. Some of you have been waiting on this person. Journeys end, acceptance, breakup, transformation. Next out is bringer of emotions, token of affection or romantic offer. And lastly, we have nine of roses, abundance, independence, luxury. Okay, so back to those of you um, who are getting set up on a date, um, like a blind date or uh, you belong to a dating website. Yeah, I feel there is a strong potential um, for you guys, especially with this being the next card that would be out. So, singles, anybody you go on a date with over these next two weeks, really keep an open mind, especially if you've been like hoping for a reconciliation or to get with a specific person and it's just not happening and here's this new energy that comes into your life, 
really keep an open mind, accept the past as it is, and open yourself to what is now coming in, because I'm telling you, I see like good chemistry, good connection, long-term potential for this relationship, okay? So singles, um, yeah, I, I see some potentials on the horizon for you guys. Those of you who are just kind of dating, um, like I said, I feel like this journey's end is like the end to the current version of you guys, which is not, you know, being, you guys are single, and I feel like you guys come into a commitment, you go to the next level, or sharing like an I love you, very intimate, um, emotional moments between the two of you. Those of you who are committed, um, what I see here is overcoming turbulence, overcoming challenge of the past, and coming into like a much better energy over these next two weeks. So Virgo, it's like no matter what's going on here, um, it looks good. The only thing is, is like those of you who, again, are separated or hoping for some sort of reconciliation, I really feel like <clears throat> Spirit's saying, hey, let that go for now. Open yourself up to what's possible right now today. What's What romantic opportunities are coming to you today. It doesn't mean that it can never be again, but right now it's not the time for that. It's the time for something else, and this something else is fun and enjoyable and passionate and chemistry, and it's mutual, okay? It goes both ways, so good, good stuff, Virgo. Pull some dice. All right, so we have the devil. This could be Capricorn energy. Um, but this right here is like the influence, the primary influence that's dissipating um, in the past. So that's like the trouble the heaviness, the challenge, the worry, the obsession, like all of that's in the past. You're moving into a time of prosperity, of chemistry, of passion, of connection, of enjoyment, of fun, all right, with this uh, night of wands. And moving into the past is blocked energy, being single, being alone, being confused, being unsure, not getting along, okay? And now there's this beautiful new beginning coming in with this full energy. And um, in the past, we have the Four of Swords um, with this love connection over here. And so um, in the past, if you were single, it was a period of healing for you in preparation of this, you know, new connection coming in or this solidifying connection between you and somebody you've been just, you know, talking to and kind of dating. And those of you who are coupled, um, I don't know, there's like some sort of like vacation in the works here. And man, I just see you guys really falling in love again, if just enjoying yourself, okay? Because last out, we have the Herophant. The Herophant with love connection. Um, token of affection, romantic offer, you know, just depending on where you guys are in your different relationships, you know, even if you're committed, maybe you're not married, this like could be where let's get married, um, you know, I, not obviously, obviously that does not apply to everybody, but man, I sure see it um, right here with that Herophant and the love connection, I'm um, going on this beautiful, wonderful honeymoon. Man, Virgo, it's just good all the way around for you guys in love and romance. The only thing, like I said, is those of you hoping to get with a specific person or reconnect with a specific person, I really feel like Spirit's saying just kind of let that go and open yourself up to what's coming in right now because you're going to have so much fun with it, Virgo. You really, really are. So... Let's pull your bonus cards. Those of you that um, resonated with the first card, we have Sweethearts, the Honeymoon Phase. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I don't know, like getting committed, um, getting engaged, maybe getting married, going on your honeymoon. This is 
or this is just the energy of that new connection from that blind date or the internet date um you and your committed partner falling in love again just it's man virgo those of you that felt attracted to this all good stuff all good stuff right there okay card number two what do we have we have performance convincing deception okay um this right here is saying that uh you know not good stuff virgo this to me feels more connected to uh like the separated hoping to reconnect or hoping to connect like get with a specific person and this is like, no, okay, convincing deception. Somebody puts on a performance and it's time for that to go away and this beautiful new energy and love to come in. Next out is this third card and we have next step, deeper level of commitment. All right, so these people are legitimately getting married here, okay? So Virgo, um, the honeymoon phase, deeper level of commitment the love connection with the Eiffel Tower, the bringer of emotion, this divine masculine of thoughts in his tux. Yeah, some of you, we are talking marriage. We are talking moving in together. Um, we're saying I love you. We're planning um, meeting each other's families. We're going on some lavish vacation. I mean, man, this is just great, Virgo. Again, except for, like, I want to get with this specific person or... I was hoping to reconcile and you have these new energies coming in you know I'm saying go with the new energies because Virgo it's fun it's romantic it's sexy it's chemistry it's passion you know some of you maybe you need to sign up for some dating websites or start asking your friends you know do you know anybody single that you know I could be compatible with because these next two weeks Virgo I swear it really looks like a time of uh, highlighted good potential for love connection deepening of existing connection for Virgos okay so those are your messages Virgo I am wishing you all the best take care